Hello, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's get rid of that. Go over to comments. Uh, so, hey, Sean. Let me know um, things are good with sound, all that. Or does Sean, you have your comment queued up earlier? I can never tell. It's like right on the line, 8 o'clock. So, yeah, let me know. Um, thumbs up if sound is good. Just let me know uh, that you're here. Say hi. I just see eyeballs. And that's fine, too, if you don't want to talk. <laughs> All right. So tonight, um, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Tonight is day two or part two of um, my Lighthouse class, Lighthouse Point. So uh, I designed these so you should be able to use any Lighthouse set that you want. Hey, Di. Awesome. You made it. Yay. Um, so part of them are using, hi, Leslie. Hey, Sue. Um, part of them are using the die cuts. Part of them are using the stamps. So the stamping part, you should be able to change up for whatever you have on hand, whatever Lighthouse set. Uh, so we did four cards last night, doing four different cards tonight. And um, actually, let me put this up. So the way, uh, 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 banner, banner, here we go. So there's two ways you can get the class packet for between last night and tonight. You can fill out the Google sign-up sheet that is in the description of the video, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook. That'll take you to a Google form. Fill that out. Um, you're just purchasing it outright. $49 includes the shipping. That includes, the class packet includes eight card kits. So you do one each of all the cards we're making. Envelopes, a pack of these Milky Dots, uh, PDF with instructions, written instructions and pictures. And then you're also going to get the pictures of the inspiration pieces, pictures that I found. So all the lighthouses are based on some lighthouse in America. So you'll get that. Um, you'll also get a private video and the instructions for two bonus projects. So and that's usually something 3D and a different sized um, card. So those two bonus projects. Um, and I think that's it. I can't remember. Um, so you can get it. Just buy it outright. Option one, fill out the form, 49 bucks. Or option two, place an order at least $75 using this code. S-R-H-R-E-6-Q-R. Um, so everything have to have that by next Monday, which is the 20th. So that allows me time. I put the order in on the 21st. Takes me like seven days to get it. Um, I should have everything cut and shipped out by the following weekend. Um, I don't know where I put my, I wrote those dates down somewhere. I know I talked about them last night, um, but that's going to be, it's in the Google form too. So that's how you get the class. Um, let's get to it. And I'll just show you real quick again um, what we did last night. Ooh, and this is, I got a Valentine in the mail from Peggy. This is a fun cube card. I had this as a my first virtual stamp club that was last month. And this was the bigger size that, um, that we made. So this is a, each cube is like two and a half by two and a half. So the whole thing is five by five. So really cute. I came up with, um, a way that it's easier than the instructions that I found. So thanks Peggy. I love that one. Uh, so let's do a recap. So again, we're using Lighthouse Point and the dies, and then these are the Milky Dots that you'll get. Uh, do I have all the pieces? So this was our first card from last night, and we did stamping and, and cut out that little um, lighthouse. So can you just imagine if you've got any different lighthouse, you'll just stamp and die cut your part, and then you'll do the ink blending and the, the ground, all that the same. Then the second one, uh, this was Coastal Cabana and a new embossing folder. And there's the clear dots. Love those. Third one, this used some of the papers from the By the Sea pack, I think it's called. I was going to say By the Tide, and I don't think that's right. So I'm pretty sure By the Sea. Um, and then our last one from last night, we have a red um, lighthouse, and then we uh, like made it a little bit old, aged it a little bit with some white craft ink on there. Um, and this paper is simply marvelous. That was from Celebration, I want to say a year ago, but I have like three packs of it. So still using it. So those are last night's. Tonight's are going to be completely different. 
here's our set. Um, I'm probably going to pull in some another greeting from Shaded Summer because I just like all those, the fonts. Uh, so we're going to get to it. Let me move some stuff out of the way and knock some stuff over. Get these dies out of the way. All right, and our dots, they can live here for now. All right, so first one. Our first card is inspired by the Bodie Island Lighthouse in North Carolina. That's in Nags Head. And it's basically um, a black and white one. So I thought, let's do a black and white card. So we've got a card base, five and a half by eight and a half. Ooh, that's a little rough. Let me just sand that a little bit. Five and a half by eight and a half, scored in half at four and a quarter. Then we have a uh, basic white for the inside, four by five and a quarter. Let's just go ahead and put that in. And actually, let me make sure I've got my... Yep, you actually have two of these. One's for the inside. Ooh, my nose is itching. And one we're going to layer on the front. And I'm sorry if you can hear me sucking on my cough drop, but I figured it was better than uh, having some coughs. All right, so let's put that in there. Then we've got our white, again, four by five and a quarter, basic white. Now this print, black and white, this is from the um, perfectly penciled designer paper, which is in the annual catalog. Um, so if you wanna save this and color these flowers and use it for a different card, and then just pick a different pattern that you might have you know, on hand, go for it. Uh, but we're just going to glue this down. So this one is, I think I cut it down just an eighth of an inch. Yep. So three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Usually I like a three sixteenths inch border just because it's uh, like the Goldilocks. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just right but I do occasionally do an eighth inch and it's just that it's so much tighter, small. All right, here we go. And I think that's a little bit crooked. All right, I'm gonna live with it. So it kind of blends in with the white lines anyway. So I'm not really gonna worry about it. This card is actually going to be a landscape style or orientation. I noticed that last night when I was going back and looking at it, I'm like, hmm, these were all portrait. I usually try to do like one, you know, landscape portrait, landscape portrait, whatevs. All right. Then you'll have a piece of basic white. This is, oh, whoopsie. I got to go back to comments so I can see them. Hey, Penny. Hi, Marsha. Um, quarter sheet with the corner notched off, this is what you're gonna stamp your lighthouse and your greetings on, and we'll cut everything out. So this is like four and a quarter by five and a half. Then we have a piece of vellum. This is from the Stylish Shapes dies. It's the largest circle. So it looks like it is a three inch circle, and it's got a teeny tiny little stitching, which you can barely see here. There we go. It just doesn't show up that well. Um, but this, I'm gluing down. This is just for interest and to break it up. So we're going to stamp our lighthouse and cut it out and put it on top of there. So I'm just going to put some glue like right here for now because I know my lighthouse is going to go there and it's going to cover that up. And then I may do, actually I'm going to do one there too. Because even though this is black and white, I decided I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Because I want to have the um, like the light coming out of this one. All right, so let's get to our lighthouse. So this one, I want to start with, we're going to use these two pieces. And they line up, they go right on top of each other. So I want, the base of this is white, and that's hard to stamp on white paper. So we're going to have some creative license. And we're going to use smoky slate. You use whatever light color gray you want. And I'm going to stamp off once to get it as light as it'll go. All right. And let's do that. 
Oops, I got another air bubble. All right, good enough. So we've got our light gray. Actually, I don't like that. I'm going to do it again. So sometimes when I mount these, ooh, and I see a hair under there too. Jeez. I will get an air bubble and that really affects it. That's how you know you have an air bubble. If you get a spot like that and man, that hair doesn't want to come off. <laughs> All right. I think, I think we're good. I'm just going to press this down, try to scooch the air bubble out. All right. Giving it another whirl. I think I inked it up well enough. All right, so stamp off. And of course, if I would uh, put a mat under it, a foam mat, I wouldn't have this problem at all, but sometimes I'm a little bit lazy. Oh my God, that just figures. One more time. I'm going to put my finger right up under there. Okay, got it. Sticking with it. All right, clean this off. So you could have used also gray granite, maybe crumb cake, um, but the one in real life is black and white. All right, now it's only got two um, bars of black across it, and this, our stamp has four. So this is where we're gonna use. Dun, dun, dun. We're gonna go back to our markers. Now I could have just said, we're just gonna deal with it and do all four and stamp it in black and add it. Um, but I figured, Let's just use the markers. So I haven't used uh, Stampin' Rights in forever. This is basic black. So you just color on your stamp and we'll give it a little huff. And I'm just picking these two. Um, actually, and then I want the top a little bit. All right. Now this is interesting, beating up a little on my photopolymer. I may have to stamp this once and then do it again. And I did stamp this in Versamark um, before I attempted this. I will do that sometimes with the photopolymers just to like, I don't know, people call it conditioning them or like pre-treating them or something. Because sometimes the photopolymers don't want to grab your ink right away. All right, now I'm just going to line up and I'm trying to line up this little dot with right here. And I just need to drag it a little closer. And if I don't get it perfect, it's fine. All right. I think I might have to redo. Uh, I'm okay with that. Definitely. Um, I should have taken this down some more because, uh, Oh, you know what? Yep, I should have taken it down a whole bunch more. Oh, wow. Because see how it's it's edged out over here? Because this part right here is wider, so it should have come down. But that's good enough, because I'm going to cut it off anyway. All right, now I do want to go back to my... And this would be a good spot for the Stamparatus. Um, but you know me. Sometimes I'm just not that concerned. So I'm just getting the tippy top of this inked up and I'm going to go right over it again. All right. Perfect. Now for this one, I said, um, I want to stamp some of the light this time. So I haven't used this yet. This is where you'll have the light shining out here and we're just going to hand cut this. There are dies, um, but I'm just doing it this way because what if you don't have the dies? It's not the end of the world. But I am going to go with Daffodil Delight. And I'm keeping these kind of close together because I also want to stamp my greeting. So you're going to get your lighthouse, your light piece, whatever, if you want, and your greeting all out of the same quarter sheet. Oh, Penny, you thought it was a Pringles can cover? That's <laughs> Makes sense. And actually, you know what? If you didn't have a die, if that's the only circle you have, you could definitely use that as a template for cutting stuff. All right. So let me get my scissors. 
And for this greeting, I wanted to use the, actually let's stamp that right now while I cut so it can be drying. I wanted to use the long one from the set. Your light shines brighter than you know. And I'm gonna use Versafine. This is really good on the photopolymers and it cleans up nice. It doesn't stain your stamps. Oh, look at that. All right, let's do better, Tony. All right, good. It cleans up nicely, um, but it does take a little bit, a few minutes to dry. So let me clean this off. Good enough. And I'm not going to touch this. Let it sit over there. Put my smoky slate back. And then I will quick cut these. Now I'm just going to go like, I like to leave a little bit of a white border. If you are a fan of cutting it right up to the image, then go for it. Definitely to each their own on this. All right. Now, when I come down to the part where it's hanging over, I'm just going to cut right through it. And we're going to act like that never happened. Okay. All right. Nice. So that I'm happy with that, with the smoky slate stamped off once, because that's a light enough shade that I like it okay. All right, now we'll cut out our light. And again, I'm giving it the same little bit of a white border. All right. The part that I always mess up with this is I always want to put it this way. And that's not the right way. It's supposed to go like that. So let's do, we're going to pop this one up. Get a new pack of dimensionals since I ran through that last night. And we'll add a bunch of these. So I don't know if anybody noticed, um, I posted, ooh, I don't know which day, um, the paper pumpkin that we're going to get in March. So next month that you have to sign up for by March 10th to get that one. It is the Stampin' Up! 10 year anniversary for um, paper pumpkin. And that's when every anniversary, it's usually March, we get like another extra little freebie gift. So this time it's an extra whole stamp set. And I posted a picture of that. Um, now look, so remember I put my glue here because I knew I was going to cover it up. And then this right here. So I just want to put it right there. Okay. And then we're going to add this. Oops. Now that I might have to put my greeting here because I didn't think it was going to um, come out that much. Hmm. That is no good. Or I'll have to put my greeting. Yeah. Let's do this. And then the greeting there because I wouldn't want the light and then the greeting. So, all right, that'll have to do it. And I'm going to need some mini dimensionals. Um, but the paper pumpkin, so I have ordered four extra ones. And so you, if you let, want it, let me know. By the time they add the tax and shipping, they're $25 now. They did have an increase last year. Um, and let me know. First come, first serve. So 25 plus shipping, whatever it takes to get it to you. All right. And I'm just going to tuck that light under there. Uh, but the stamp set, the extra stamp set that we're getting looks really cool. Ooh, I like this. Let's do, let's add some with Costella to, to this light. Yeah, it's like plant based. So there's like a potted, like a bowl, to a planter base, um, some leaves and some flowers. Looks nice, and it's supposed to have a polished pink ink spot, which is good. Um, all right, so now, hopefully this will be dry enough. And I'm just going to hand cut this. 
and I'm trying to stay straight along those words, straight-ish. And you know, I'm the only one that'll notice if it's a little bit crooked, I'm sure. All right, and then I'm gonna line up straight with these words. And this greeting does fit in um, the die. All right, now this is, I'm gonna put this like right up here. So let me just trim that. Boop. Nice. Okay, that's going to work perfectly. And then I can run it through. I could run it through to the end, but you know, I do like to rip the edges. So I'm going to do that. If you don't want to rip your edge, um, if I had not mounted this layer first, I would have run it clear across and then maybe trimmed it so it would be flush with the white edge here. But I'm liking this. And again, if you don't want to leave, if you don't want any yellow on it, then don't add the light. I can see that is wet right there. So I'm just going to push this down with my, my scissors. Uh, whoa. Okay. Good thing that vellum's there. All right. Mm, I like it. Okay. Now we finally get to use some of the yellow dots. So these are really Mango Melody, but they go with gold or um, yellow. So I want to add like one, two, and then one right here. So let's do a big one. And then two little ones. Uh, no, let's do a big one and a little one up here. Hmm. I like that. Now I could have brought my, uh, lighthouse down a little bit further, but I'm happy enough with it. So your light shines brighter than you know. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So that's our first one. And that is Body Island or Bodie Island, I guess. All right. Lighthouse in Mag's head. <coughs> mm. All right. Next one. We are using the dies and a uh, new embossing folder. So this one is inspired by the Coxpur. Island Lighthouse in Georgia. Um, and we're doing, this is a Bermuda Bay base just because um, I wanted something blue, but I was tired of using all the same colors of blue. So we're using, you know, yesterday was um, a lot of balmy blue, some starry sky, um, some night of navy. So different shades of blue. So we've got Bermuda Bay, five and a half by eight and a half scored and folded in half. There we go. At four and a quarter. Then we've got for the inside, basic white, four by five and a quarter. Now all your pieces that are die cut, punched, embossed, etc., all that comes ready. You don't have to do any of it. Everything's cut, scored, all that. All right. Then we've got a uh, basic black. I believe this is four by five and a quarter. Yep, four by five and a quarter. And then another piece of Bermuda Bay. And this one I went down an eighth of an inch too. Okay. So three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So we'll have another skinny little border. This one is embossed with the painted texture folder just because... Um, I wanted to use some different folders. Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks, Carol. Um, you know, it's just about having different texture. It doesn't have to look like the sea or, you know, the sky or anything. It's, I just wanted not plain. All right. Let's do this. Nice. Now, our pieces that are die cut. So this one. <coughs> Mm, this particular lighthouse looks like old and um, I don't want to say busted, but it's got like a lot of, it looks like brick work on the outside that is aged and it's a little bit shorter, mm, excuse me, <coughs> and it's got a base to it. So we've got our piece, um, our base piece. Now I took this and embossed it. This is the new basics embossing folder, one of them. 
Let me pull this out. So these come in a pack of three. These are going to be available for you guys next month. Um, and so I just labeled them one, two, three. This is like a star or flower pattern. This is a cross hatch, and these are the dots. So this cross hatch, I took my piece and I just laid it in here so that the cross hatches would be straight up and down. So I took it and see how they're going like this. So I just put it down here whoop, and ran it through. <clears throat> So this is going to go here. So I think that's neat. So straight up and down. Um, there's also a base with this one. Like this is sitting on like a platform. So this piece, I'm not exactly sure what it's for. Oh, maybe it's for this. You know what? I didn't realize that. So mm, these dies, I thought this was supposed to go sideways somehow, but it really does fit perfectly. I bet it's for to make a different color middle. Oh Lord. All right. So interesting. Well, I'm turning it this way because this is kind of, it sits up on a base like that. And I'm going to cut the bottom off because it's kind of, it needs to be a little bit shorter and it just doesn't have that shape at the bottom. All right. So we're going to go like this. And this part is the same brick, only it's a little bit moldy. Um, so I'm not going to do that. Let me see. So what I want, I cut the bottom off. All right, we've got our greeting piece. So you're going to stamp something in that small one. Oh, we got the little, the top. So we're going to glue that on. Um, and then I want to bring back, uh, I want to rough this up or age it a little bit. So I need to put some more color on this, on the white pieces. So I think I'm going to go with gray. Um, the picture, it really shows. It looks like it's mold. So I don't really want to go mold. I just want it to look not so stark white. Okay. Oh, you know what? Glad I caught this. I wanted to cut this off. I'm like, I don't want to see those bricks through the windows. There we go. So just the tippy, tippy part. Okay. So let's get a, um, a sponge dauber would work. I'm going to use a blender because I barely found that sponge dauber from yesterday. Um, so just a little bit of gray. And this is really going to pick up some of the, um, the embossing. And I'm sorry, I know this is going to shake a little bit. All right. I just want it to be not as white. Where'd the base piece go? Oh, right here. Blah. So see the difference that it makes? Oops, see, just adding a little bit of color. We want it to look a little bit weathered. I guess that was really the word I wanted. Not old and busted. <laughs> All right. Let's add some here. And if you didn't want to do this part, then don't do it. If you just want to have your um, lighthouse like that. Okay. Now, greeting, I want to stamp this one in, um, since it is the clear, sending you love and light. I feel like I've used that a bunch. What's the other little one that will go in here? Oops, sticking, sticking. You are loved. Without you, I would be lost. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stamp that in the uh, VersaFine as well. Actually, you know what? Let's do use the other side of my block. And then we'll get this part assembled while this is drying. Okay. See, I just wanted some different shades of blue. 
I didn't want, you know, all the cards to have like the same two shades. All right, let's put that there out of the way. Get rid of that. Oh, now this, I want to pop this up and this. So let's glue this. Let's have it this way. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the bottom. And, oh, whoopsie. I'm putting it like that. So the picture that I'm looking at, this thing is like in the middle of the base, but creative license, right? All right, now let's take some of our uh, dollar store foam tape and we're going to pop up this whole layer. And I'm just doing this because it goes so much quicker than laying out 25 dimensionals. And sometimes I'll go around the edges. Sometimes I just put it all across like this. It all depends on my mood of the day. Yeah, when I was doing um, the design for these and I was researching, like, I know I said it yesterday, but there's a lot more lighthouses than I realized. So that's pretty cool. Lots to choose from. All right, now I'm adding just a little bit of glue. So I have some wiggle room when I assemble this. And we're going to put this on. Try to get that, oops, centered. Okay, that looks centered, yep, all right. And then, and then, you know what? I can just add, this will fit right here too. And then I want a little bit, can I squeeze it? Yep. Sure can. Alright. So we'll put this on. And again, let's give it a little extra glue. And so I wrote in my notes to put yellow dots on this, but um, that's going to look terrible. So I think we're going to go with clear ones. I think the only way I would use some of the purple, because the other ones are freesia, and they look, I mean, they look very purple or like a grayish. I think I would probably color them with some Stampin' Blends if I was going to use them for any of these cards. Actually, you know what? Mm. Actually, no. I was going to say, let's color some right now. But I don't know what color Bermuda Bay. You know what? We can try it. Why not? Oh. Let's see if I can find my Bermuda Bay. Um, Coastal Cabana. Oh, Bermuda Bay would be in with the greens, wouldn't it? Oh. That's one that I always get confused on. Yep. Okay. Dark Bermuda Bay. Let's try it. Oh, interesting. All right. So let's color both of these and see which one we like. I kind of like it with the um, colored, the purple one. So it's a little bit darker than coloring the clear. So I like it. Let's color some more. And then we're going to use these. So this is the dark Bermuda Bay blender pen. And look how ratchet my tip is. I don't know how I did that, but that looks terrible. It still works though. All right, mostly. Yeah, that is terrible looking. I wonder if this side works okay. Yep, all right. So that's probably why I'm still keeping it because the uh, smaller end is still good. All right, so color those. Now these can dry while we're putting our greeting on. 
But see, I love the, the texture that we get and having two different textures between the painted texture and then the basics folder. I like it. All right, now, hmm, I'm gonna put that, I do like it right there. I don't really want it up there because that's too much space in between. So we're gonna do right here, dimensionals. Now don't forget, I'm not gonna be here live this Thursday um, just because it was too much. You know, we did it while I was here yesterday. We had our Zoom on Sunday and then tonight. Uh, and we're not doing anything for Valentine's tonight because uh, I'm here. Plus, it's always so crowded. Like, we usually go out a different day anyway. So I think we're going to do that on, on Thursday. All right. Ooh, I like it. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of Wink of Stella on the tippy top just because it was a little plain. I'm sure in real life it's not glittery, but that's okay. Who cares? It's my lighthouse. All right, now let's put some of these dots on. And mm -mm -mm. let's do one, do like three. So we'll do one up here and one there. And actually I'm gonna wipe that off and I want the other one right there. All right, so we'll do big one. Oh, yeah, I do like that color. So this was dark Bermuda Bay stamp and blend on the Fresh Freesia. Oh, look at that. I got my finger right in there. Not to worry, though. It won't be sticky all night as if... If I use the Tombow glue and got it on myself, that's terrible to get off your hands. Like you need soap and water. All right. So here's our number two. Mm -mm -mm. Love that one. Penny, your brother lives on a lake in Texas. All their coffee mugs have unique lighthouses. Oh, fun. That is cool. And there's so many. All right. So that is number two. So the next one, the third one, card number three, this is inspired by Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, again in North Carolina. All right, let me get my, I got a little bit of glue on my pick-me-up tool or whatever, CM tool. All right, so we've got um, another shade of blue, but don't worry, you don't necessarily need to have the color ink. Um, so all our pieces. Tahitian Tide. This is a current in color that is, we've got the, till May and then a whole nother year. So five and a half by eight and a half. Folded in half at four and a quarter. Then we've got, oops, nice. We've got a four basic white, four by five and a quarter for our inside. put that in. Um, so if you're making this at home and cutting your own stuff, you don't have Tahitian, pick a different shade of blue because it's only for this, the base and the background. All right. Then we've got another piece of Tahitian Tide, four by five and a quarter. We're going to do some stamping on this one. Uh, then I have a piece of old olive. This is about three by four and we're going to do, um, some ripping to make like a little bit of grass down here. Uh, then you've got die cut pieces. We've got our base out of white and our overlay out of black. Then we've got two pieces that we only need a partial. So the base of this lighthouse has like red and crumb cake around it. It looks weird. So we're just going to have a little bit different. Um, we're going to piece these together and we'll get to that. Then we've got our greeting. So stamping wise, we're going to want a white ink pad with this one. Now, if you don't have white, um, use a different color. Use Versamark and we'll do a tone on tone. Uh, but we're going to do stamp some clouds on here. So we've got, this is a little cloud stamp in here. And if you had a different cloud stamp, go for it. 
you had a cloud punch, try that. Uh, let's do this. Now, if this white craft doesn't like stamp perfectly, it's okay because it's gonna, it's a cloud. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, that looks like it's, let me stamp this one because I know it's gonna be covered up. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. So we just want a couple clouds and I'm gonna turn some of them upside down. I guess they're not really that low to the ground. Whatever. All right, plenty of clouds. So white ink, that is going to have to take a little bit to dry. Um, otherwise, I can hit it with the heat tool, but we have some assembly to do anyway. So, all right, I'm going to clean this off. You really want to clean your white ink off of your stamps pretty quickly. Like, don't let it sit there, especially not in these, um, the distinctive ones that have all these extra nooks and crannies. All right, I'm just looking through. That looks clean enough. Okay, so while this dries, I can do some ripping. So I wanna make just a little bit of grass. So I'm gonna rip and we're gonna do two layers. That and then we'll rip another layer. And I'm just gonna build these on top of each other like glue them. Now, if you want to take an ink pad and like highlight um, the roughed up bits or the part where you ripped, and if you don't want to rip it, just cut it, right? Um, but you could take old olive or something and like scrape it along there, but I'm okay with it just like this. So I'm going to glue down this one first. And you could really crinkle this up too and uncrinkle it. And that would give some extra texture. All right. And the fact that some of these bits are um, standing up, I like it. All right. And then we'll glue this one on. And this one's going to go right to the edge. All right. And my paper wasn't exactly um, straight, so that's okay. All right, this I'm gluing flat down on here because we're gonna pop up the lighthouse. All right. Ooh, I really do like this Tahitian. All right. Okay, now let's get rid of that. Let's go to our lighthouse. So like I said, the base is a combination of um, like tan and red, and it's not stripes like this, but remember, we're just doing this like for the idea. So I'm gonna cut this off, and then I'm gonna cut just the top part of this red off and glue that to the base. Let's get that. It's just to be inspired by the real lighthouse. Doesn't it's not there's no way I'm gonna get it to look exactly the same. All right, so we're gonna glue that right on top. And then we're gonna glue this right on top of here. Kind of weird, but I think if you were to mail this, send it to someone who knew this lighthouse, they might get it. All right, nice. Now this is a little jaggedy. Oh, there we go, let me trim that. Now we're just gonna glue this to our white lighthouse base. And it really does have the diagonals like this in black. It's really hard to tell because some of the pictures I'm like, is that blue or black? And then I have to go to Google double check and most times it is black. I guess it would be hard to maintain if it was blue. I don't know. All right, now I blew all these extra bits off and we're just gonna glue this. All 
There we go. Nice. Now the real one doesn't have like the outline. It's just the swirls, but you get it. All right. Mm, perfect. Now this one, um, I'm actually going to put this one on the right side. I don't want it in the middle because then the greeting has to go somewhere. You know what I mean? If I put it right there, it's going to go here or here. It's going to cover more of this up. So I want this to one of the sides. And I think I have just enough of this roll of foam tape to make this happen. These. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll do our greeting, which I should have done and let it sit while we were waiting. Hey. Always something, right? Oh, Diane, Dara drew this lighthouse for your mom's celebration of life. Nice. Did you guys go visit that one a lot when you were when younger days? Yeah, this one, um, Cape Hatteras. I've never been to Cape Hatteras. We've actually never been to any of the beaches in uh, North Carolina. We're more, our people are in the mountains. So, all right. Now this greeting, I wanted to try, let me see. Um, uh, uh, uh. I wanted to see if one of these would work from Shaded Summer. Love you, friend. That is like one of my faves. Ooh, nice. And that's going to fit. All right. Now this, I'm going to use yet a different color black. I'm going to use my Catherine Pooler Midnight. I use these with the rubber stamps um, because they do, it does clean up nicely, but it's still a nice black. All right, let's do this. Hold my breath. Hope that I got it straight. <gasps> Nailed it. Awesome. Penny, you got to go. Awesome. Well, thanks for hanging out. Oh, and I looked in your, um, your Super Bowl prize will probably be delivered on Friday. So awesome. All right. So let's put this here. I like it. And we're going to pop this one up and add some, I think we're going to do some clear dots on this one. And of course, if you don't, if you didn't want to do any dots, don't do any dots up to you. I really like the Tahitian. All right. I have to hold this closer to my face because I want to make sure this is like straight. Okay. Nice. Mmm. I think those clouds turned out really nice. All right, but let's do a little um, dots. So I want, mm, mm, mm. let's do like one here, one here, one here. I will do this and a little one and another big one. And I could go back and get really crazy and add like a whole bunch, but I like that. And if you wanted like, you know, rhinestones or something different, go for it. Oh, and you know what? We could color those windows. Uh, did I put that marker back? I think I did. Ugh. All right. But yesterday we were taking the um, pool party stamp and blend and coloring then the glass. So you could definitely do that, but that's our number three card. Okay. Add to the correct pile. And let me get all this trash scooped up. So the last one for tonight, our number four, this one is based on the, it's called the West Quaddy 
I don't know if I'm saying that. Quaddy Headlight in Maine. It's spelled like that. C-U-O-D-D-Y. West Quaddy Head. And it just says light. It doesn't say lighthouse. So, interesting. Um, so this one, more um, red and white. I like it. So we're going to be stamping and cutting. And again, I've got a different background. So... Uh, real red, five and a half by eight and a half, folded in half. And then we've got basic white for the inside, four by five and a quarter. And then, and then we've got balmy blue and this time I embossed it with the basics number one folder so look at that detail like could be stars could be flowers I think this will be good for Christmas or flowers um, but this one is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and then the black is four by five and a quarter so this is just to have different texture on the background and so we're just going to glue this on to our black. All right. Oh, I got that glue on my finger. All right, hold this for a minute. Okay. Now this one is a... Mm, excuse me. It's a red and white striped lighthouse. I need my pin for a minute. Here we go. So similar to how we did our first one, our first card for tonight, you're going to get your quarter sheet with the uh, corner notched off. This is, we're going to stamp and cut out our lighthouse and the greeting out of this. Um, and this one I'm going to glue straight down. So... I can do that first. All right, so let's glue that. And then we're going back to our Stampin' Right markers again. So I've got the basic black and the real red. Now this time um, for the base, I'm going to go with Crumb Cake. Oh, no, no, no. Sahara sand. Because, you know, can't make, hard to make white. Like this way. Uh, so we'll grab our stamp again. And I'm going to stamp off once. And then again. All right. The fact that it's a little bit splotchy. Oops. Closer. I don't care because we're going to, that'll get covered up eventually. Um, I think, fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. So let me clean this off and dry it. So now what we're going to do is try, we're going to attempt to just draw stripes all the way down this stamp. And I know I'm not getting them perfectly straight, but that's okay. You get the idea. And then the tippy top of this is red also. And then just a little bit black around it. So we're just going to do this part red, the very tippy top. Okay. I'm going to give this a hop. Hope that it works out. Okay, fingers crossed, because I should have used my Stamparatus. Ooh, good enough. I like it. That's what I wanted. All right. And now I'm actually not going to bother stamping that again to get that little black... Um, bit here. I'm just going to go in with my marker and color it. 
and this I haven't used the skinny end of this marker in years at least it still works but it's struggling all right I say that and then it wanted to quit working I generally use the fat ends of these anyway or the brush tips all right nice okay these are actually, this part's black too. And that's just too hard to get a really fine line. You know what, we're gonna color that whole thing. And then I'm gonna add, fill in this. Okay, mm. so perfect. This looks weathered, um, but that's really, right what I wanted so just gonna trim this now of course if your stamp is a different stamp um, you're just gonna look a little different and that's okay I am very pleasantly surprised that the marker technique worked as well as it did. Okay. Mmm. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Let me check my notes. Yep. Stamp base. Um, Sahara stamp off. Yep. I remember that. Use markers. Yep, yep, yep. All right. And then we need a greeting. Um, so again, I'm going to put this like right down here. Mm -mm -mm, I like it. Um, and I'm going to use a punch, like a bigger punch this time, because I want the greeting to be like right here. So let me pop this one up and let's use a, some dimensionals. So whatever punch or die you have. For your greeting, I'm going to um, stand up and grab, I think, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Now, I am putting this, like, right down on the bottom of the card because I want it to be, like, grounded down there. Ooh. So, this is a new one this year, um, and I cannot remember the name of it. Uh, but let's see what's going to fit here. Always here for you. Ooh, I need something a little bit bigger. Some friendships are just meant to be. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I could have done another birthday too. It seems like I always need those, but this will be fine. All right. And let me go back to my Catherine Pooler. So again, whatever greeting you want, whatever die or punch, whatever works here, whatever you can get out of this sheet of paper. All right, and then, nice. Some friendships are just meant to be. All right. And then this shape kind of reminds me of a cloud a little bit too. All right, so we're going to put that there. Mmm. I like that. Okay, and we're going to pop this one up too. You know what? This one is good for um, if you have a circle punch too. If you have a one and a half inch circle punch handy, that makes a nice label with this. Let me show you what I mean. This is getting off track, but so you would punch your label out of whatever this name is. And I'm just going to use my one inch because I keep it handy. Um, and let me get a scrap of paper. So if this was bigger, like one and a half would go perfect. You punch out a circle, stamp something, and then you would mount it here and pop it up. So I would do the color the base of color and then this white or vanilla and then layer it. And that makes a nice, a nice look with that punch. 
All right, so for now, we're just gonna mount that. And this time I am gonna use some of the blue dots. It's a different shade of blue. Um, one more dimensional one here. But I'm trying to evenly use my dots. Just so I don't use up all the clear ones just on these eight cards. <laughs> all right. Okay, so let's put that there. Mm -mm -mm. I like it. All right, and then we'll add some a dot here, here, here. And we'll go big, little, and big. Okay, and we could jazz it up with um, maybe some like a stellar or something down here. But I like the the mixture of the background and the blue and the red. Um, so I hope you guys like that too. Oh, Sue, this one might be your favorite now too. <laughs> Well, good. I hope you make these with, um, you know, whatever lighthouse you have. All right. So let's bring these back. This was our number four. This was number three. I like that one. I, I guess I just like the, the bright blue. Then we've got our Bermuda Bay and then our black and white. And I know that's not entirely in frame, but mostly lovely label punch yes sean thank you lovely label punch that is it all right you guys oh so you have no lighthouses what that's for crazy all right you can make these with palm trees right same same design but instead of a lighthouse make it with palm trees mm. um so again yep uh ordering is either it, the google sign up sheet which the link is in the description or by placing an order and using the code. And I'm going to have my blog updated. Um, I'm going to say tomorrow. Well, maybe later tonight. Yeah, I might as well stay up and get it done. Right? So because the sign up is, I'm only keeping it open for a week. Um, these are short, you know, short classes. Get it. Then I can get everything cut and shipped out. So um, I will not see you this Thursday. I will see you next Thursday. All right? And that will be the last Thursday of the month. So, um, have a great night. Have a good, I hope you guys had a good Valentine's too. Uh, and I will see you later. Sean, you love all these. I'm glad hard to pick a favorite. Mm. Awesome. Um, I like to give you all the, all the options. Okay, you guys. Good night. Thanks again. Bye.